Aries, welcome to your general reading for 16th of 22 April with Major Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. So Aries, wherever you've got Aries in your chart, dealing with an Aries, however you came across this reading, there is a message here for you. You're not here by coincidence. So open your heart to receive, and I'm going to end off with an oracle card that will tie everything in together, so stay till the end to see how that happens. Okay, so Aries, 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 Aries. What is coming your way? But first of all, what are the energies that have been at play? Things feel a little bit stuck, <laughs> you know, like a little bit stuck. But I also get that it's your time to shine. It's your time to be happy. It's your time for love. It's your time for, you know, the profit of life. P-R-O-F-I-T, you know, by gain, benefiting. Oh, it's like you are doubting, you're like, Ugh, I don't know, you know, it's been such a rough minute. What has brought you towards where you currently are? You may have lost everything, or you may have lost a sense of everything. It feels like you may have felt that you lost your direction, and lost your way, you know. I don't know if you see that, it looks almost like there's a light around the spot. Like, are you seeing that? Look at that. Wow. You may have thought that you were alone, my beautiful Aries. But Spirit want to let you know that you've been divinely protected. You know, it's like that story. It's a Christian story, but you can, like, let's call it Source, you know. So it's like that story with Source when a man gets to the end of his life and he, you know, reviews back on the life. And, you know, God comes to him and God says to him, or Source comes to him and Source says to him, you know, that was you walking through your life. And then, you know, the sense of life. And then the person says, well, you know, what is this other row of footsteps that's next to me? I thought I'm looking at my steps of life. And so says, no, I've been walking with you. And, you know, this man says, oh, cool, that's quite nice. But then, you know, obviously he looks a little closer and he says, but hold on a moment. It's like, it's like all the times when life was the most difficult, it seems like you abandoned me because there was only one, you know, set of footsteps in the sand. And then Source goes like, ah, oh, no, Baba, you cannot be more wrong, you know. The times when, you, when it was the most difficult and you see only one row of footsteps, that is when I carried you, okay. Source has carried you. You may have thought that you were alone, you may have felt that there was nothing there, but Source has carried you. And I find that in the darkest moments, in the, almost like in the darkest of nights, my beautiful Aries, it's like you found wisdom there, okay? You, you, you found clarity there. You found direction there. So sometimes in life when, you know, when things get very, very tough and nothing seems like it's working out, I, don't, I can't get over the shine of the cards. I mean, yeah, there's a light, but the light shouldn't really do that. I don't know. That's amazing. <laughs> These cards are quite magical. Um, it's a star tarot. Um, so, yeah, Source want to let you know that you may think that something was, you know, was like a punishment almost, but it's almost like, Aries, you had to face the hardships so you could make a very definitive choice about, yes, I'm going that direction. No, I'm no longer doing that. It's like you needed to get, you needed to make some very definitive choice, okay? You had to let go of the past. I see that some of you went certain places. You went to go, I don't really know if saying going to make peace was the right thing. Peace with yourself, yes. Because I get that you kind of went and laid your cards on the table, you know? You kind of went and spoke your truth. Did what you needed to do to straighten out the path for yourself, you know? To like shovel the snow out of your own path where you went to go do what you needed to do. Okay, we're going to see when we clarify, but I actually like that. This is one of those things that when we looked them at them back in retrospect, we realized, oh, you know, this is where Source was leading me. But when we are in the space, we go like, fuck, why am I here? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's look at your current space. Death card energy. The death card energy, you know, this is what I love about this deck of cards. It cannot be 
Well, I suppose it can be, but it's so beautifully, accurately defined, you know. This phoenix rising from the lowest parts, from the ashes, that butterfly releasing, the letting go, letting go of the empty shell. Because the death card energy is a rebirth energy. It is about reconnecting with yourself. It is about letting go of the parts of yourself that are no longer working. My beautiful Aries, hold on to nothing and hold on to no one. Okay? This is one of those places that if they want to go, open the door for them. Adios. You know? Cheers, let me not stand in your way type of act. Okay? That is in your current space. You are lighting up. You are coming back to life. You are like that first flower of spring. Also remember that the new moons in your energy, that solar eclipse, is powerful and beneficial for you because it's in your energy. Your energy is ushering the whole world world or universe into that alignment with the age of Aquarius wisdom okay where you can be even more playful and more yourself if that's what you like and more lighthearted as you continue to learn okay look at you nicely back on track hmm? nicely back on track love it love it love it love it love it okay Powerful spiritual awakening. And I... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Aries. I love this. This is a pure... I would say the best of Aries and the best of Aquarius in the wisest of ways. Very chilled, very wise. Fault with love and compassion and kindness. You're like, everybody's getting their spiritual awakenings. Everybody's like, we are one, we are connected. You know, you already got that. You're waiting for the second wave. So once everybody's done with their connections and their alignments, you're like, okay. Yeah, I am for the magic. And magic indeed for you, Aries. Potential going forward, four of ones. Emotional balance. Loving the life you're waking up in. Okay? Loving the life you're waking up in. Loving your life in the morning and all the spaces in between. Loving it from morning to morning. Possible high-level commitment. Possible marriage. Very, very possible. Very, very possible for you. Okay? Very, very possible for you. My beautiful, beautiful Aries. What else is possible for you? Seven of Cups. Rising to that next level. Okay? You just keep on grounding. You keep on meditating. You keep on doing your breathing, your breath work. And if you're not meditating, and if you don't know breath work, Aries, now might be the time that you want to start that. You know, this is you. A lot of people may have said, you know, you're doing this and you're doing that. And maybe might make a lot of fun of you because it seems like you're like a jack of all trades and a master of none. Your wisdom is about to solidify. And if you're on board with it, place your hand on your heart with me. Breathe in and say yes to it. Because you, Aries, you, my beautiful Aries, you're about to show the world exactly who you are in the most amazing ways. You are just radiating into every direction. Your heart is absolutely ready to shine. You are like, I am here to shine. I am here to do my path. I am here to glow like a sunrise. My people, I'm here. <laughs> you know, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it very much. Okay? Let's clarify. Let's clarify and see what we got here for you. Aries, clarify that recent past. What messages do we have? Seven of Cups. Yeah. Again. So you needed to get the clarity on certain things. You needed to feel the way that you felt. Because it seems like it was the only way that you were going to let go of a certain situation, a certain energy, a certain mindset, a certain past, a certain regime, a certain role. 
Okay. Yeah, you are like I'm pretty much fucking out of here. You made a choice. You may have cut the tie. You may have actually even stopped speaking to certain people. You know, so maybe it's just that you're more silent. You're not that easily reachable. But some of you have just cut all ties, all communication. Okay. It could be that someone else did it with you, but I feel more like you initiated this. You were like, mm -mm, not going to do this. Yeah. You were tired of not getting to live the life of your dreams. And you may have been tired for quite a while, but you may not have always as full-heartedly believed that you're fully deserving of it. But when you, re when you like, kind of got to that point of realization, but I deserve this, nobody could stop you. You realize I, so you heard something, saw something, something happened, something activated you. And you realize, I want happiness, I want love. So you saw the toxic pattern, you did something about it, you moved away, and now you're ready to move into that space. There have been some painful releases and some letting goes that were necessary. Okay? Had to do it. Had to do it for your own sanity so you could actually live your life. In the current space, the death card energy, yeah, the ten of swords. There might still be, you might still be in the middle of this release. There, there is some release going on. There, there are some emotions going on. There are some crazy thoughts going on. Um, things might be a little bit rough for you this week. Okay? It's a space of letting go and realigning. So it's almost like, and I want you to know this, you know, that you, this week could be a little bit of a space for you, Aries, where... You think you are done, and then something else comes up. And you think you're done, and something else comes up. You, think, you know? But four days into the week, you should be fine. Okay? So with this reading, is the 16th. So like the 20th, by the 20th, plus minus. Things should, be, should, should have significantly improved for you. Eight of Pentacles, you keep on doing your thing. One step at a time, Aries. You keep on doing your thing. One step at a time. Remember, your life is bigger than just this one moment. Don't overwhelm yourself with the details. All right? Just this energy here for you with the Ace of Wands. You just take the next step, the next step, and the next step. Everything else that you need will come to you. Okay? Listen to me well. I'm not saying do nothing. You take the next logical step. Don't overwhelm yourself. Take the step and be fully present in the step. Whether that means that you are cracking the egg into the pan or into the bowl of flour or whatever the case may be. Okay? You are just you are just cracking the egg for this purpose in this moment. That is the purpose of the moment. That's it. Okay? The rest will come to you. Okay? Ace of Wands. Your heart is opening. You're ready for love. You're ready for that high level commitment. You're ready for marriage. You're ready to build a beautiful life. You have somehow been setting things up quite smoothly and you might be um, knocking the socks off someone here. Okay? Um, I can possibly say, you know, a very beautiful surprise might be in the wings here. Okay? Very possible. Very well received, very well intended, very well received. Okay. So if you may be thinking of setting something special up for your person, you know, I would say go right ahead and do it. Even if you're not sure how it will be received. You go to town, trust you when I tell you this. They will love you for it. Okay. Let's take all three of these cards because clearly there's a lot of messages going forward because you might be in a space where you might, okay, everything starts to work. Okay, let's overcompensate quickly. Nope, not what you want to do. Wheel of fortune. Fortune's on your side for love, for life, for marriage. There's a financial breakthrough. There's a money breakthrough. There's an opportunity breakthrough. And all your heart's desires are coming true. Does it resonate? Place your hand on your heart and say yes to it. All right. If you're interested in expanding your life, personal expansion, psychic development, learning, learning to read cards, check out the links for my online courses down below in the description. Okay? Let's see what your oracle message. My beautiful, beautiful Aries. 
What is the oracle message for Aries, please? What is it that Aries needs to know? What is it that they need to be aware of? What is it that my beautiful Aries needs to know? Sacred reverence. A sacred unlocking. A sacred unlocking of the heart. Unlocking a higher purpose. Remembering the truth, the divinity of who you are. DNA upgrade. Light language encoding activation. This is powerful, Aries. Like your whole life is about to change in the most positive, beautiful, wonderful, great and fantastic way. And so it is. For your highest good. That's what I have, my beautiful Aries. I hope that it resonates. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.